If you're going to learn how to make games, then you're going to need to know at some point how to control a game character using the keyboard. Let's say the right and left arrow keys. So I have a little flash movie right here and I'll play the flash movie and you can see that when I press the left and right arrow keys the cowboy character runs so we have like a walking cycle or in this case a running cycle that loops and you can see that he waves the uh, the rope or the lasso above his head and when he, I let go of the keyboard he goes back to a standing position okay so how is this done alright so what I'll do is I'll switch to the start file here and we can examine it and quickly show you how to create this situation. Now first of all, this cowboy character is a movie clip and you can see here that when I select the movie clip, the instance name in the property window is cowboy. So that's first a very important aspect. It's a movie clip and the instance name is cowboy. We're going to target this instance name with our action script code. Next, I'm going to go into symbol editing mode by double clicking on this cowboy movie clip and you can see that the cowboy movie clip inside is just some artwork and has its own timeline. So once again, this is the scene one timeline if I click here, right? Notice the scene one timeline. We've got the movie clip here and we've got some action script here, right? But if I double click on this movie clip, we go into symbol editing mode. We're inside of movie clip cowboy and you can see he has his own timeline. Now on each keyframe, if I scrub with the playhead, I've got a different piece of artwork to make the running cycle or walking cycle work. All right, so basically you need to be able to figure out how are you going to make your character uh, run. Notice he only runs one direction to the left, right? And you can see if I select this or if I turn off the, um, the character here, it's just a, some artwork in each one I scribble drew with the paintbrush. Using the flash brush tool, I did a little scribble drawing and just kind of scribbled in what this running cycle would look like, right? Okay, and it came out okay. Now, on the actions uh, layer, I made a layer here and I put a keyframe at the beginning and the keyframe at the beginning is just a stop action. On keyframe one, we have a stop action. And then when we get to the end on keyframe 10, I have another action, and this action is a go to and play run, the, fr the frame label named run. So that will take us to this frame label right here, run, right? And it will jump from 10 to two and then keep playing. If we go back to one, there's a stop action here and that would stop the animation. So we don't wanna go back to one. So one is our standing position, right? Two through 10 are our running positions, right? And then this frame label right here, if I select this first keyframe here with the little red flag, you can see the frame label over here in the property window is stand. And this one right here, if I click on this one, go over to the property window, the frame label is run. So in our code, we can call and tell the cowboy to go to run, which will take him here or stand, which will take him here. And you can see on this last keyframe, it's a go to and capital A, P capital P play, run. So that is our running cycle. So effectively, when I'm doing nothing, we're stuck on keyframe one on the stop action, right? He's on the stand frame, a frame label. And as soon as I press the right, let's say right um, arrow, he'll start running and jumping to the other frame. And you can see that here as I press the right and left arrow keys on my keyboard that he jumps into the running cycle and then runs back and forth. So we're going to learn how to code this up. Now, if you want to start and follow along with the video, all you need to do is go to my website at www.danscourses.com, click on the Flash Game Programming link, and if you scroll down to, let's see here, week five and six, I've got the catching game here. And if you go to catching game part one, which is right here, you can see that you can download the starting file right here. Stage one, the catching character, key movement sample file. And you can download that file right here and start out. Now, if you download this file and unzip it from my website, the keymovement.fla, what you could do is 
you could select this movie clip symbol and you could double click on it and you could replace the artwork on each of these keyframes with your own character and your own basically running cycle and you could make more or less frames if you needed more frames you could add more frames or if you needed less frames you could have less frames but you could basically replace these keyframes with your own graphics I'm gonna go back to scene one now and the other thing that I want to point out to you is to do this what I recommend you do is I've got all the code in here already so it's not really a start file what I recommend you do is delete the comments let's say right these are the comments with the double forward slash lines and then just code the thing up yourself so you could remove all of the comments right and learn basically how to code this up from scratch and what everything is doing you don't have to remove the comments what you could do is at the top put in a forward slash and then an asterisk and that will comment out all of the code and then you can follow along with me as we uh, write this action script code and I explain what happens and how the code functions line by line so now the code is all commented out and we're ready to start basically working and writing it up from scratch and talking about what each item does.